Hello everyone, my name is Alex Andrew and you're on my channel and watching new tutorial and today we will discuss how to bake the animation from your rig to the object, for example to your camera, so you can easily uh, merge this camera to another scene or if you want to just simplify your scene. So let's don't waste the time and uh, let's get to work. So this is the example of the scene with the very simple basic animation of the camera flying among these uh, teapot objects. And as you see, uh, the animation uh, operated by the helpers. Each helper has uh, animation keys or uh, some of them has a... Mm, noise uh, noise controllers for the position now you can see the structure of the helpers this is the main dummy uh, this one is for the camera and it has a, a controller for the position to give some uh, noise shaking and this one uh, small dummy has uh, animation keys to go a little bit left right left right you see so basically, this is just a simple uh, rig, which uh, is very common for the animation projects. Nothing special, you see, uh, pretty similar uh, dummies for the uh, camera target. And instead of dummy, it could be high poly models, for example, two cars driving through the street and the camera linked to one car and the camera target linked to another car. This is just a simple uh, example of the animation and the camera rig. So you see these uh, two red uh, lines is uh, and the path for the uh, camera and the camera target. So now we will record this path into the keys of these objects. So for that we have a special tool inside 3D Max. It calls conversion tool inside the motion panel. Uh, simple settings, start time, end time, uh, samples. I used to put the same amount of samples as the amount of frames. So we'll have uh, each frame one key. And the simple button collapse. And we suppose uh, to get our animation. And it seems fine at the first sight. But let's check the curves. And what we see, the animation curves are flat. So we got, obviously we got the keys but there is no animation so let's double check let's uh, kill for a while uh, all dummies and check yes no animation uh, okay control z undo the our dummies so why it doesn't work first of all let's uh, make a camera um, copy call it baked uh, camera and the target of course and put them into a separate layer also, let's hide the original camera and uh, let's focus on this too. So, why uh, it didn't work? Why we got our keys but there is no animation? Because our camera and its target were connected to the helpers with this tool, Link. And it doesn't work with the conversion tool to bake the keys. So, let's unlink the camera in the frame 0. Yes, it is stable, no connection. And instead of link, we need to use the controller. Let's go to the motion panel, parameters, let's select position, assign controller, and we need to choose position list. Open this menu and uh, on the available, let's select another controller, position constrained. Let's select here in this list position constrained, make it active. And here, at position, select our helper. As you see, it's shifting a little bit, the camera. So mark this uh, option, keep initial offset. Don't forget to turn off adding. And same thing for the camera target. Add position list, stay on available, add uh, position constraint select in this list position constraint and add position target our helper and also keep initial offset turn off adding and we got this connection just the same as we had via our link let's compare with the original animation as you see all cameras are identical let's hide our original camera 
select our camera views controllers and uh, let's try one more time uh, conversion tool same settings all frames samples collapse and let's check uh, the curve and here voila we have all our keys we got all animations we got animation from the noise controller everything is perfect one frame one key so now it's working so just remember if you want to use conversion tool to bake your keys from your animation use controllers instead of linking because only controllers will transfer your animation properly so now we can even delete our dummies and the animation is still there let's check uh, side by side two animations to make sure that nothing changed since we swapped from the linking to the controllers so as you see it is identical that's all thanks for watching let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful for you or you still have a questions also please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content here and see you soon bye bye